What's up, everybody? Keith Mitchell here from the Outer Haven, and as you may have noticed, I put out a couple of videos with some uh, Sekiro mods being used, and a couple people asked how to get the mods running, and a couple people said they tried to get it running, and they ran into issues. So I'm going to help you there. I'm going to help you get through these issues so you can run these mods yourself. Now, before you do anything, go ahead to nexusmods.com or look in the video descriptions that I posted and get the... Uh, mods download them to your machine when you're there they will tell you that there's another uh mod you need to download called mod engine you need this this is what you need to enable these mods so once you have the mods and you put them in a certain directory it should look just like my screen right now so what you want to do is take this one which is mod engine stupid one raw it's going to pop up right go to here and you're going to take these files you're going to extract them to wherever you have Sekiro installed. So let's go here, Steam, Steam apps, and your directory will vary. Mine is here, and I'm going to paste them here. It has to be with the executable of the game. It's already telling me, hey, these are there, which is fine because I've already had it installed, but you don't. So go ahead and paste them there. Once they're pasted there, do nothing. Don't do anything else to the mod engine ini file don't touch it it's fine the way it is what you're going to do is you're going to go to Sekiro that directory once again my directory may not be the same as yours and make a directory called mods right here because what's going to happen is once we make the directory when we extract these files we're going to extract these files to this directory so now that we've done that, we're going to go back and go back to where you download those files. So I have the Holy, Mo Holy Moonlight, we have the Moonlight Greatsword, and then we have the PlayStation 4 buttons. Well, I've already had both of these installed. And you only want to have one of these installed at a time. You can't have both because if you take a look at these files, the names are the same. So I wish it would stop doing that. So if you go to this part directory, you'll see it's called WP underscore A underscore zero three zero zero okay fine if you go to this one you'll see that it's also named the same name so you can only have one of those at the same time because the the person who made this mod named them the same thing because they do the same thing they replace the sword from uh Sekiro's hand so you can't have them both it's one or the other i have not tried the playstation 4 buttons because i'm using an xbox one controller So I would install this there and it will look differently. So I'm pretty sure you guys just want to know how to do the mod for the sword. So we'll take the Holy Moonlight sword and there's a directory called parts. You want to extract the directory with the folder. Do not go down a folder. Don't do this. Go back up, extract this folder and extract it to where you have Sekiro under the mod. So you see my directory is E underscore or E Steam underscore SSD Steam apps common Sekiro mods. Put it wherever you put that mod directory in that Sekiro folder. And it has to say mods. Once you do that, for me it's gonna come back and tell me that hey it already exists. That's fine. For you you won't have that problem. Once you do that, the mod will be installed. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install the mods for Sekiro on the PC. Always go ahead and thank the people who developed these mods and I'm pretty sure there are a lot more coming. Honestly, I want to see the Buster Sword from Cloud in there from Final Fantasy. Just, you know, I want to see it. But as always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out nexusmods.com to get these downloads for the game and uh, maybe like it and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care.